Hello guys, this is Ramirez here with the first installment of my how-to series for creative writing. And I don't want to make this too long, I, in fact I don't want to make any of these videos too long, so we're just going to get right into it. So the first thing that I would recommend if you want to go into creative writing would be working on where you want your, like you have to have an overall idea of what you want to do before you can start it. I know that doesn't sound too intelligent, but I can't really think of how else to explain it. Like, what you should do first is figure out what your audience would be. Like, for me, when I started writing the Tracker series, I didn't really plan on it lasting as long as it did. In fact, I didn't really plan on a series, I just started writing for fun, but once I start, when I finished my first book, which was a miracle, I didn't, it, it was 504 pages at first, it was crazy, but when I finished that and got on to the second book, I realized that I love the action-adventure genre, I love fiction, I love fast-paced fights with interesting characters that Normally, like, if you saw them in real life, there's a good chance they wouldn't get along or they'd probably even kill each other, but if you put people who cause tension and conflict together and you force them into a situation where they have to work together or even just coexist without killing each other, it, it makes for a really interesting story. So I guess my first thing would be, would, my first suggestion would be know what you want to write and then research it. Research is great, like, it'll help you learn what you need to know and it'll help you give a better idea, it'll help you get a better idea of what you're going for and how to get there. Like, authors that I drew inspiration for, like Anthony Horowitz and his Gatekeeper series, loved it. Maximum Ride by James Patterson, loved the first few more than the last ones. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't read Angel Experiment, Angel Experiment or the one following that. I can't, I'm drawing a blank on what his name is right now, but still, his first few books inspired me, and once I figured out what I wanted to write, I suppose the next th step would be find where you want, like, you could start with characters, or you could either start with setting. Personally, for me, I like characters more because you can you have more creativity and more range with characters. Because char characters can inspire situations, they can inspire different, different like themes, different, different characters. Actually, you can easily get one character from another just by contrasting their traits and goals and putting them on separate paths as well. But then again, we shouldn't rule out settings either, because settings can give birth to some pretty great ideas e too, like, they can give you plot, they can give you different situations that you could use in your book, like, if you get, like, a setting for this really dangerous realm where you're lucky to survive, like, an hour if you were just thrown here, that can inspire like an entire series like you could you could lit you could go so far with that but once you figure out which one you want to do there there are a handful of other paths you can go down like i'm not even like i'm not a pro but i'm here to help and i'm not saying my way is the right way i'm just letting you know what my way is like First, I was inspired to write through frustration, and that carried me really far, and then I started planning. Like, when you start planning, that's when you know things are serious. That's how you get, like, the best results, because, like, I'm not saying my first book's worse than any of the others, and, in fact, I'm saying it's one, it's one of the best that I wrote. The third book's the worst. Second book might be the best. Fourth book's better. Fifth book, once I get it, will be amazing, I promise you. But, excuse me, <laughs> need a drink. <sighs> Alright, that's much better. But, um, 
once you figure out where you're going, it gets way better. Because I planned for my second book, it took place in Area 51, well, the ending did. The rest of it took place in Alaska, Nevada, um, Texas. Once you get, like, an idea for an interesting situation and scenario, you can go as far as you want with it. So, never rule out settings. But once, once you have settings and characters, the next thing you're going to want to do is think of what you want your plot to be. Now, plots range from being potentially dark, or really dark, actually. I mean, if you've ever read a book by Edgar Allan Poe or a poem by him, you, you can get pretty messed up. But, um, yeah, they can range from stuff like that to just action-adventure. You can have the classic underdog hero genre going, or you could even take it the other way. You can have you can have your main character be a villain who's got everything lined up. You can have him succeed, you can have him fail, you can have him partially do both. Doesn't really matter. When you write a book, you can be whatever you want. So, plot's pretty much, dr for me, plot's driven by cause and effect. You don't, I didn't actually plan the entire plot for some of my books. It was just one event after another event after another event, and then the resulting causes of each event. If you chain enough of them, you get a pretty decent story. You get decent conflict, you get decent character development. You set yourself up for so much if you can get decent cause and effects going in your book. Or short story. So, in conclusion, characters are great. They're a great place to start, especially if you have, like, a character you can already, like, envision in your mind without having to, like, sit there and rack your brain. Like, if you get characters that just come to mind, definitely roll with it. Same can be said for settings, also. If you get a place that you want to write your book, or set your story, or anything, go with that. That should lead you pretty far. And don't forget, planning is your friend, so... Don't hesitate to get on the computer and search for anything you might need for your book or short story or whatever, I'm not judging and I'm not telling you what to write, and just go wild with it. Creative writing's fun, it's a great form of expression, it's a great hobby, and it can really get you through some tough things. Like, it got me through a lot when I started back in middle school, and now I'm about to be a senior. And I'll be hopefully going into creative writing for a living along with filmmaking. So you never know when or how creative writing will change your life. So that's it for me with part one of this instructional series. I should be bringing you the next part in the next couple of days. And if you like this part, or if you have any questions or recommendations for the next video, drop a comment below, or you can direct message me or whatever, contact me on my page, which I'll leave up on my, I'll link in the video, or I won't link my personal Facebook account, but most of you already know what it is, how to find me, I mean, there's not very Ramirez's online, there, there are two on Facebook, they're both me, so whatever, and yeah, I will see you guys later, have a great day.